Hello, my name is Brian Downing and uh, I'm going to show you uh, the second video of uh, what I think of this book called C-Sharp in Financial Markets. Now, as I introduced in my first video, I did talk about, I've segregated the chapters. This is a monster of a book, about 860 pages or something like that, but it's, it's quite, quite, quite lengthy. And uh, what I've done is I have divided up these chapters, one into technical, focusing obviously on C sharp, and the other one more focusing on algorithms and industry stuff, like for financial. So um, this video will be a lot shorter, but there will be some little, little talk about C sharp. But if you want the real C sharp stuff, go over to the other video. Um, but this book is really good. Um, in a lot of ways, um, called obviously C Sharp for Financial Markets, um, written by these authors. Uh, and uh, the nice thing I like about this book is that it focuses on bond and bond pricing, fixed income, as well as options. And it gives a fairly decent little intro to all the different um, uh, terms and all those sort of things uh, in both fixed income and options. And it gives a really good set of examples uh, in C Sharp and how to apply all these techniques. And it's very heavily, um, uh, heavily focuses a lot on the quantity, what looks to be complicated mathematical formulas and what that you see in Wilmot and whatnot. But the cool thing about this book is, um, again, if you're fairly new to all this stuff, uh, fixed income and options. This is a really good uh, quick start uh, into the world of quant. Uh, if, if you're strong in math, I'm not, but I'm getting there. I'm getting better at it. But the cool thing about it is I've seen a lot of these uh, calculations and equations from Wilmont and uh, Paul Wilmont's monster uh, derivative uh, quant uh, series, as well as John Hall's uh, book as well. So what I'm fi figuring, this is going to help me understand and get into those more complicated books through this uh, book, uh, the C Sharp for Financial Markets. Not only that, um, it's going to help me really understand other things I didn't really know. Uh, as I said, bonds, bond pricing, and options. So let's get to it. Now the advantage with options and oh, sorry, bonds and bond pricing uh, when the when the markets tank which they will, everything is very cyclical. Uh, you can always move into the boring, yep, boring bond market. I mean, 2009, <clears throat> on the other book, when you look at the, the stats, the U.S. Treasuries, man, was, was the strongest from 2008 up until about 10, 11. So fixed income is really useful for when the markets go the other way, down, uh, to protect yourself, because that's where everybody uh, dumps their money basically. So let's get into it. Alright, so uh, we understand uh, optionality. This is chapter uh, 7 uh, and uh, all the other chapters missing from the video are here and what I talk about I guess. Um, obviously time value of money, how to code up a, a bond class, measure yield, measuring duration convexity, uh, creating date schedulers, uh, some intro to uh, dates from C Sharp. Uh, these are all custom classes uh, exporting to Excel. And again, remember there, there's a heavy, heavy offloading with uh, Excel and using Excel worksheets at, and workbooks as a front end. Um, pricing bonds, so and so forth risk associated with bonds um, and all that. And then we move into uh, was this chapter 10, finding different methods, lattices, uh, trinomial asset pricing, stability and convergence, trinomial, Black-Scholes, PDE. Again, I've seen a lot of this in my MATLAB days. Uh, so it's all here now in C-sharp. So this is what you could code up for a production environment at least to start off with, for sure. 
Um, explicit schemes, finite defin uh, def uh, difference uh, method, stability, uh, all these different ADE, ADE, Black Scholes, ADE methods, summary, all that. Now this is important. Uh, interpolation, I say that slowly because I can never say that properly. <laughs> Uh, and now this is with interest rate applications. Now this is kind of funny because, you know, I talk to a lot of uh, students or recent students that are now obviously graduates that are in introductory jobs. They're all working in banks. Uh, so these type of applications they're working on. And a lot of them work in Excel, a lot of them work in .NET. This is how they do it. And this is what they learn. So you're taking, well obviously not four, probably six years of advanced uh, university, and condensing it in 10 second description, but it's not like that. But this is where they end up, a lot of them. Um, so basically they're doing curve building, the formula, curve shaping, into interpolators, blah, thank you, if you're laughing, uh, how to do linear and cubic spline, uh, all these different methods here, polynomial, rational, binomial, Bilinear, sorry. Um, more examples, cubic spline, blah, 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 blah. Uh, also, uh, and this is how the derivatives are, are done. The world of, evil world of derivatives. Uh, and this is specifically for futures and options. Overview, we like those. Uh, risk and money market uh, transactions. Understanding the STIR or STIR, I guess, STIR options. All the different Greeks that are introduced, the deltas, there's some coding examples with that, I, I do know that. Um, all the different uh, instruments of contracts, futures and options, bring it all together. Yeah. Another one you always hear, I, I like my Bloomberg TV. Uh, this is a, a really good one uh, curve building. Um, yeah, how do you build the curve? How do you calculate it? So we have uh, understanding the process of it, all the industry stuff that goes with it, unsecured deposits, forward rate, applied rate. From what I gather, retail traders will never move into this. It's, it's big boy stuff. Um, and uh, let's just leave it at, if you ever get a few million dollars, it's something you could look at, uh, as far as I, I know. I've never seen any any retailer talk about this. This is all institutional stuff. Continuing along the overnight index, co curve construction, using the best fit, key rule of uh, interpolation, all the different classes that come with it, uh, all the different derived classes for uh, bootstrapping, global method with a smoothness, more examples, calculating present value on your floating leg. Now I've seen this also in uh, a quant lib, but this is more custom. Um, but this is just one example. A good, again, just, just a good uh, starting point. Is your curve calibrated? How do you instantiate the time taken? Visualizing it in Excel, uh, forward start swap, all the sensitivities, blah, 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 blah. Then we get into multi-curve building, uh, consequences of crisis of uh, internet rate derivatives, overnight index swap, CSA, OSI, I have no idea. I just look at this at a very high level. Impact OIS, blah, blah, blah. Market, mark to market. That's talked about a lot, the risk effect. Again, the bootstrapping process, all the sensitivities that go with it, all the different uh, interfaces, uh, classes. These are all custom source code included, of course. Um, sensitivities on the console, uh, mark-to-market differences. Very Again, institutional. Uh, interpolation, forward rates, discount factor, blah, 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 blah. Then we get into swaptions, like Hello, uh, I never do this, but I'm just talking about it so people know that's there. That's part of this book. Um, close formula, cap and floor, 
description, money strike, caplets, uh, implied volatility, multi-strike amortizing, uh, cap and floor swap option, put parity, multi-curve framework code, this is powerful. A bootstrapping example, cap stripping, does that mean anything to you? How to calculate missing data, volatility models, again, source code, hello, very good, very good. Uh, cap stripping, mono strike, Excel integration, uh, simple caplet model or pricing, uh, simple caplet volatility bootstrapping, ATM, ate the money, recursive burst bootstrapping, more and more it goes. Okay, so um, there's more at the end with these appendixes. Uh, the first one just goes on about uh, design patterns, um, all the different programming techniques, aggregation, generalization, specialization, all the different modeling. All this stuff, categorization, concept levels, whole part, data composition. Wow. Okay, uh, nonlinear least squared. Um, this is the second part. Uh, introduction, objectives, programming, nonlinear least squared, regression, equations, derivatives, this new library that's introduced, the AG, ALG lib for calculations matrices and uh, vectors I believe an application example of curve building rate calibration um, wow this just goes on and on and on and on mathematical background for alternating direction ADE now I think one of these two chapters here or sorry appendixes uh, no it's actually this one that talks about more moving into um, uh, how to how to uh, do uh, high, high high frequency trading and then there's some other chapters that I mentioned in the other videos as well. So goes on about ADE one factor Black Scholes one factor boundary an example using the ADE method conversion boundary conditions nonlinear conservative form. Uh, consequences, payoff, b behavior, the far field, blah, 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 blah. Again, I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. It makes me a PhD, I guess. All right, um, cap for uh, swaption using the Excel DNA. That's talked about in the other video. Uh, different ways stripping cap, cap volatility, call put parity, call put matrix, amortizing, swaption formula, swaption strata. Okay, there you go. Um, I'm hoping that this really convinces you to get this book uh, right here. If you need the uh, link, I got it in my blog. Talk to you later.